Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvanian reviewer and collector himself. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing something from Power Rangers Dino Charge. But we're also going to be doing a montage after we're done reviewing each Zord. So first and foremost, we're going to look at Rexy, Tyler's T-Rex Zord. Because he named him Rexy. Because he's a T-Rex. And he's intimidating. Head can do a full 360 for articulation. Legs can kick that far back. Can't stand by on their own two feet by himself. You can't get him in a pose, but you have to hold the foot to make it seem like he's in a running pose. Otherwise, he can't hold his own weight. So he has to have both feet on the ground. And we're going to insert a charger in the mouth. I don't have a T-Rex charger for this sword, but I do have the Packa charger. If I ever get a chance to get a T-Rex charger for Rexy, I definitely will. And we got the helmet that's going to play a big part in this review. Next, we have the Triceratozord. Equal articulation. Not as go back that far due to the transformation. Same with the other legs. Mouth can open because that's how you insert the dino chargers. But you make it seem like the Triceratozord is having his mouth to munch on something. Muncha, muncha, muncha. <laughs> oh, I love having a little bit of fun here. And the same articulation with the Stegozord. It can kick back. Same with the other legs. And you can open its mouth. Make it seem like it's munchin' munchin' munchin'. But that's all there is to say for the Zord modes. Let's get down to transforming our T-Rex Zord. And this is a, like, Power Rangers were like Transformers. Because they transform into Megazords. Which I kind of dig, dig Power Rangers Megazords now going to connect this port into there. Second verse, just like the first. Just can connect the port into there. Sorry if I have to correct myself. Rotate the waist. Flip up the head and insert the battle helmet for the T-Rex Megazord. Second step, we're going to disconnect the tail. Split the tail and connect it into the back. That's pretty cool that it becomes part of the Megazord, the tail. That's pretty cool. Now we're going to transform our Stegozord into the arm mode. We're going to rotate this up, fold the legs back, fold the legs from the back, from back to the front. The back legs. Push this up. And put in our Stego Charger. Properly. And there we got the arm ready to go. Flip out the blade. And connect into the hand. And there we got one arm. Ready for battle. They can go Stego Slash. I love saying that. <laughs> Next, we're going to transform our Triceratozord into the arm mode. Fold in the legs. Pull back the head. Since I don't have a Triceratozord charger, 
It's probably going to be a while before I get one, if I ever find one. But for now, it'll do. The Raptor Charger. Once I ever find a Stego... A Raptor Zord and a Tricera Charger, this will be 100% complete once I get a Tricera Charger and a T-Rex Charger. But for now, this is incomplete. And there we got the Megazord ready for battle. And look at how really well painted this figure is. Nice paint on the Zords themselves and the T-Rex Zord, which I love this paint. It looks like it just popped out of the Dino Charge TV show, which is nice. But now it's time for the musical montage. Hope you enjoy it. And that was the first time I used a montage after the review itself. Not bad, right? Sorry about that. <laughs> Commercial on my tablet that's connected to the TV so I could do this montage. <laughs> it happens on this channel from time to time. Is a Dino Charge Megazord worth adding to your collection if you're a Power Rangers enthusiast. Yes, pick him up. He is worth it. How did I get mine complete? You're probably wondering. Well, I got the helmet and the shoulder piece I was missing off eBay. But if you can find it at a convention or a thrift store complete, pick him up. He is worth it having in your collection. And I'm going to try to pick up myself some more Megazords because they're awesome. And their Megazords are awesome. And that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.